Okay, I got all my bolts out, loosened them up on this end a lot, and started loosening them around here a little bit at a time. Kept going, didn't even have to pull the pin, just kept loosening until I got these completely loose on this end. And drained out in this pan and this pan. And there's my bolts, I put them in the bucket. And I've got about one and a half here. And this is, you don't want to rub this with any lint towels or it'll clog it up. This is the filter kit. And I'm going to see if it'll just come right out or if it has an attachment to hold it. They're all a little different. Usually it's just a little thing with a rubber O-ring. And you can slide them out. Let's just work real carefully and see where we're at. There it is. Oh, some extra fluid. Okay. Let's take this, turn it over. Because I want to make sure my parts match. And check for an O ring, because you're using rubber O ring. I don't see any O ring here, no O ring here. Oddly enough. I'm going to check, see, make sure this part matches. There's a big tube hole right here where. This fits in, in this hole, and it's kind of like a little plastic thing. Some of this one's actually metal, oddly enough, and there's a filter kit inside. A lot of them, you can see the filter on them. It'll be a real thin mesh thing, and when that gets clogged up, that transmission will run hot because it's not pumping the fluid up out of the pan like it's supposed to, and it makes the transmission overheat. A check for metal, sand, anything. That grit right there is part of the transmission. Okay. And I'll check back with you in a bit.